Hello, everybody. Um, if you can tell by my voice, I've been a little sick, and I'm trying to get over a sore throat and whatever. I decided to do a, a remake of this video because w when I was doing this video before, which was yesterday, everybody was talking on the background and I could not hear myself. So it's a lot more quieter now so that I can I can actually hear myself think. <clears throat> For the next couple days, I'm going to be writing a fan fiction based on one of the power, based on one of the comic books in the Powerpuff Girls Super Smash Up crossover comic book series, and that comic is issue number two, where the girls meet Courage the Cowardly Dog. <clears throat> Basically, what happens in that comic, I was able to read it on YouTube through a video, is that the girls are trying to look for Dee Dee, who is turned into a monster due to her meddling in Dexter's lab, I think. And <clears throat> the girls are given these teleportation bracelets by their creator and parent, Professor Utonium. <clears throat> if you hear me trying to clear my throat, that just means it's bugging me a little bit, so if that, so don't let that bother you. Okay, now where was I? Anyway, the girls are trying to find Dee Dee and Dexter tries and Dexter locates her in the middle of nowhere, which is Courage's home. His home farm house whatever. <clears throat> and so he sends them to the middle of nowhere to look for Dee Dee. And while there, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup get mistaken as Courage's dog sitters. <clears throat> Before, they were waiting for a babysitter who's, who looks... Uh, not babysitter, dog sitter. What am I saying? They were, they were waiting for a dog sitter to watch over Courage, but this... This dog sitter looks very suspicious looking. I'll get into that soon. So the girls get mistaken for Courage's dog sitters, and when Courage first sees the girls, he mistakes them for bug eyed alien girls from outer space. Just keep listening. And <clears throat> as usual, he screams and gets scared of them. Bubbles insists that they look after Courage so he won't be alone, much to Blossom and, Bo and Buttercup's dismay. So the girls are looking after Courage while, while Mariel and Eustace, his owners, have gone out to an anniversary dinner. And and the quote unquote dog sitter shows up. And he turns out to be a demon who steals dogs' souls and and has been collecting dog soul dog souls since time began or something like that. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, so, Bubbles and Buttercup try to kick the demon out, but but Blossom says that he doesn't look evil. Are you kidding me? Now, I'm about to go into a little rant on this comic book here. Just, just 
skip this rant, go through um, 510 or 513. <clears throat> or or 520. <clears throat> yeah, if you want to skip this rant, go into the 520s category or 530s. <sighs> the problem that I have with this comic is that Courage has been turned into a cardboard cutout character and he's he just comes off as a wimp. Blossom is completely out of character. She does not seem to want to give a crap about courage. Buttercup, I can, I can understand not giving a crap about courage. So she has an excuse. But Blossom, I, I'm sorry. You do not leave someone else's dog in their house for it to fend for itself. If this comic was better written, we could have gotten an awesome story where the girls and Courage team up to take down the dog demon Soul Stealer and, and save Dee Dee. But unfortunately, no, we wind up with this poorly written junk. I I don't recommend the comic if you are a if you are a Courage the Cowardly Dog or fan or fan of the Powerpuff Girls, you will be very, very, very disappointed in this comic. With that out of the way, let me get to the point of this video before I start rambling. Okay, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be writing a fan fiction loosely based on the comic. It follows the same concept, but it takes a new twist. What I'm going to say is something... The only thing I'm going to say is something horrible happens to Mario and Eustace permanently and Courage ends up being the girl's new pet. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to give out any spoilers. But that's all I'm going to tell you. I haven't thought up an appropriate title for this fiction yet, but it's going to take me a few months to put together to next year. I'll probably have it done by next year or months going into next year I don't know but it will be longer than that if you want to read the comic I'll put the link down in the description I'll also put the sneak preview chapter of my fan fiction in, in the description you can read it via DeviantArt so, that's all I have to say about this in this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.